two, two days after allegedly wiping out the majority of his family, 21 year old Jared Smith Bracey appeared before a judge for the first time to face capital murder charges. Smith Bracey is accused of committing the quadruple murder in the Lake Forest neighborhood in Daphne on Wednesday. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams was in court for his bond hearing. She joins us live and Debbie, no surprise that that bond was denied. Yes, yeah, Smith Bracey may never be a free man again. He, along with what's left of his family, in court today. And we heard from his court-appointed attorney what his possible defense may be. Shackled and heavily guarded, the 21-year-old accused killer led into the courtroom for a bond hearing. That bond denied by Circuit Judge Scott Taylor. Smith Bracey's mother was also in the courtroom and could be heard crying during the proceedings. Thomas Pilcher is one of two court-appointed attorneys that represents Smith Bracey. It's a capital murder case, and anytime you have a capital murder case, you want to make sure you take all precautions, no matter the person. He told the judge's client will enter a not guilty plea by reason of mental disease or defect. It doesn't surprise me that we would see a plea like that in this case. Teresa Hines will prosecute the case, she says, is just getting started. We're looking at two to three years down the road before this thing would go to trial, if it goes to trial or some kind of finality. Smith Bracey is accused of using a pickaxe and a gun to kill his grandparents, Barbara and Leonard Smith, his brother Jeremy, and family friend Sheila Glover. Police say he confessed to the crimes, but Pilcher is not so sure. I hadn't seen what he said. Um, I've been in cases where they say there's an admission and then we hear what actually happened and it wasn't an admission. I think we've all seen that. As she left the courtroom, Smith Bracey's mother covered her face. It is her mother, her father, and another son that were killed. And now her other son could face the death penalty or life in prison for the crime. My heart goes out to them. I, I can't even imagine how they begin to put the pieces back together. And even though that bond was denied, that issue could be revisited in future hearings. Meanwhile, Smith Bracey remains in the Baldwin County Jail. His next court appearance has not been scheduled yet. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.